All right, guys, here, sharing another video. Again, these are the videos I used to post in my community for exclusive exclusiveness, but now I'm releasing this stuff fully to the public here so you guys can enjoy. In this one, I was figuring out how to get a Z-Depth with AOV passes and composite them back inside using Blender Octane. Playing with my a render, right? A new life awaits you in the Aquaworld colonies. The chance to begin again in a golden life of opportunity. And I wanted to get some fog going into the scene, but I didn't want to do it in the traditional ways of getting a fog box and dumping the fog box in the scene. I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I remembered an old video from Lino about how to do fog using the AOV compositing. I rather do that because it's just, it's easier, right? So what I did was I jumped over to compositing. I want to show you this setup really quick. The first thing is you come down in here to comp uh, render AOVs, click on render AOVs, go to quick node setup there, and then now populate in here. By default, it's going to probably be on denoising if you have denoising activator or be on beauty, right? I'm going to go back to what I have there. So then I come over here to my octane composite. This is so you can composite an octane, add in a node, new, a node, a quick node tree. And when that does, it's going to open it, it's going to populate this box and I think this box. And then I add in an Octane AOV system. Once you add that Octane AOV system, you need to go down to your AOV's positing tab and make sure render AOV passes are set. That And then down here, Octane AOV output group. Again, this is my AOV outputting output group, or actually right here, AOV output group. We need to assign it. So you'll just basically come in here. It'll be like this by default. And you'll just come in here and you'll select it right there. That's why it's good to name these sometimes so you can know like, okay, if I'm going like a Z depth and if I come over here, there it is Z, right? So there it is. Now we select that, that activates it. You still won't see it activated. And then what I did back here in my AOV selection, I added in a, if you just click on these, I added in, I searched Z depth, right? There's Z depth AOV and then environment AOV also environment. And once you have those two in here, then you're going to come over here. And you're going to say render AOV output. This is what you're always going to see in the viewport. So right now we're seeing the denoising pass. But right now we're seeing the beauty pass. If I go here to environment, now we're seeing the environment pass, right? There's that world environment, right? Which I probably don't need now that I'm thinking about that. Um, but anyways, and then we'll come here and I want to see Z depth. So there's the Z depth pass, right? And then if I want to adjust the Z depth, I come right here. And then I can go ahead and make adjustments to my Z depth right here. Boom, all right? That's how I can adjust it. Once you got that set up, now it's like, all right, I wanna composite the Z depth on top of my render. So let's go tell our render output AOV so we can see it. I wanna see my AOV output one, which is back up here, my AOV output one. This is that. And once I add this AOV node here, I add the render AOV. Now I want to see this is the beauty, right? This is the beauty pass. And then so by default, if I take this unhook, we're going to see just this. Here's the beauty pass. So now I want to put the Z depth. I want to do another one of these. Here it is. This AOV. And again, the AOV pops out. If I add a new one, boom. And I come in here to, I don't know where it's at. I just search everything. <laughs> I just think I just went render. There it is. I went render AOV. That pops in. And then, okay, you tell it what channel do you want to see? Uh, I want to see my Z depth pass. And then I go over here, scroll down right there, select Z depth. And now we're seeing the Z set, the Z set, the Z set. But now I need to mix them. I want to mix them. Well, we're right here, blending settings. You see right there, blending settings. If I click on that and then we say, hey, well, how do we want to mix this? What mode do we want to do? I want to change this to screen mode. So then I'll look for screen. There it is, screen. Now I'm screening it over. I'm screening over our Z depth from down here on top of that, okay? But how do we control it? We don't have no control because it's just like either on. So this is where the video kind of stopped me because the video was older and this is, we have a newer AOV system. So check it out, I'm gonna delete what I got here. So what I did was instead of adding in that render node, I came in here and said, go to render right here. Uh, there it is, blend layer group, add a layer group node in because I want to group a bunch of nodes together, right? And here it is, here's my group node. And then I plug this in to here. And now let me disconnect all this. 
Once I got my layer group, okay, now what do you want to put in this group? Well, I want to put my Z depth in there, right? So I put my Z depth in there. I'm going to put this whole box, this whole layer group is going to be screened out, okay? So what do we want to screen out? We want our Z depth. And then I want to control our Z, de our Z depth, like the front to back and move it around. So what I found was you could use this channel mouth map range node here and you can plug that in. But for me, I don't like working like this using these normal values and like, like, I just like, it was, it was weird for me. Like, I just don't like it. Even in standard blender, I don't like to use the math note range node. I just use a, a curve or a gradient map, right? I didn't use that. I actually just added in this called custom curve, apply custom curve. And if you come in here and you go down here to effects, color, apply, oh, there it is. Hang on. Come in here, color right here, apply custom curve. So I added that in and now I drop that and plug it in. Now that what that's allowing me to do is to control it. So I can control it. Like if I come here and future me here, guys, I ended up not using this setup because one issue I couldn't figure out was when I was bringing, when I had this comped back into the scene, like the, the background was so bright. Like you can see this white area right here. It was like so bright. Like once I, I couldn't figure out how to make it not bright. I think there's something math wise I'm not doing correctly. Again, I'm this is trial and error. I'm just sharing my workflow. I'm not an expert at this. I like this is just what I came across when I was trying to do this and I'm just sharing this workflow. It might not be correct. I'm not an expert, but I just want to put that out there that I ended up scrapping this because like you can see the background there was so bright and I think it might have had to do something with this node here that I'm using this color corrector node. Like I think it's doing some multiplication. I don't know all that math jibber jabber. I ended up scratching that and went back to the full volume world environment volume because like of this issue here. But if you guys do know the proper workflow or how to bring in a Z depth in this new AOV system that's updated, that's why I'm putting this video out there that hopefully somebody will see the workflow, educate us or show me better ways and comment down below if you guys have a workaround or how to properly do this, how to composite our Z depth path as a fog pass in this case is what I'm trying to do. So yeah, back to the video. Peace. Hang on for a second. If I grab this and lift it all the way up, you know, you see how we controlled it in the background. And if I bring it back, boom, right? And if I even bring it all the way, well, you can't really see what it's doing because I, we're just seeing just that. But this is controlling it, right? I built my own curve on how dense I wanted to be in the front compared to how dense I wanted to be in the back. So once I did that, now I'm like, we still don't see it. Like, how do we see it? We need to screen it over. Blending settings right here. Blend, let me get in close. Blending settings. I clicked on this. And then what I did was I went into blending settings and again, you come in here and we're just gonna screen it, right? So we come to screen, boom, now it screens it on top. Okay, let me kill that cause I already have it up here. Blending settings, set to screen, plug that into the settings. Now we're blending, we're screening it over the top. Okay, and now there it is. Like now you can see what's going on, right? Now you can see it. And if I come in here and start messing with the settings here, now you can also see what's it doing like now you can see how i'm controlling that right look at that that's cool right let me go back to where i was at now that i have that and have it set now i want to control the overall opacity of that so then i come in here and again i just go into here and these are all your blend modes and your effects are but then right there there should be opacity oh, right here effect opacity effect opacity right so i drop that node in here here it is I plug that in and now I can control the overall opacity of it, All right? If I want to bring it halfway, just bring it in a little bit more. Like, oh, I'm liking that about right about there, 70%, right? Maybe even 75, All right? Boom. So there it is. That's really cool. So now my next thing was like, well, what if I wanted to make it add some color to it? Because I want it to be like pollution, right? Come back in here. Just go back to color. Let's go to white balance. Let's bring that one in. Let's try it with the white balance. Now, if we add in like this dingy, okay. Okay, there we go. So let's flip that. Boom, okay, there we go. Now I can get my dingy color going here, right? My smoggy atmosphere, let's bring the brightness down a little bit. Okay, we, does that work? Does it really do anything? Uh, that The value is not really doing anything too much. There we go. That's doing a little bit of something. Again, if we wanted to just make some more corrections on that, 
that's where we would just possibly just keep playing with this here, adding in these layers in and stuff like that. But already, that's kind of like what I was looking to do. Let me come back here and go to 75%, bring that back lightly. Ooh, there it is. You know, I I wasn't supposed to be making content. I was supposed to be taking a break because I feel like I'm burning out, but I just can't stop. Like, <laughs> I just can't stop. I had to share this out because I was like, wow, this is this is cool. I've added some fog in my scene using Z depth. And here it is. There's the setup. Let me go full screen on here again. If you guys wanted to screenshot that setup. And the most important thing is to make sure you enable this in the side panel. So here is the actual setup that I have. Screenshot that. Kachink. That's the compositor. And then here's the setting up the AOV sample, the AOVs. Here that is. Again, make sure you have your render output set to AOV so you can see that. And then here it is. And I don't think I need this node here, but whatever. Kachink. Make sure over here on the side you have this assigned in the earth. Otherwise, you won't see nothing. Otherwise, the system just won't work. Okay. Both of these, they have to be assigned over here. I hope that works, guys, and uh, enjoy.